All right, we're back in school for the uh, the week. It is October 12th. Today is a uh, kind of an admin day. Kids are out of school this week, or they're out of, out of school today. We're just coming back from fall break. Here are my, uh, my peppers. So this is, uh, I got a uh, scotch bonnet plant. One, two, three, four scotch bonnet plants. And then this is a Carolina Reaper plant. Got some herbs going. Tried to save this uh, basil plant that I had at home. We'll see if that works. We're doing the, the crafty method here. Good morning, everybody. Today we're doing uh, smoked pork and smoked chicken. We're gonna be doing some uh, barbecue. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in the kitchen without a uh, traditional smoker. We're gonna do it on the stove. First thing I'm gonna do is make a uh, rub for our uh, ribs. which I'm gonna put some brown sugar. This is Swerve, this is a uh, keto friendly, you know me. So we're gonna do some brown sugar, some salt, a little bit of paprika, and a little pepper. And we're gonna blend this up, just with our hands. I'm gonna give it a little taste though. I'm gonna give it a little garlic. This is not really something that you need to measure out. You just need to make sure that it tastes good. Put a little onion. The key to this is making sure that you have plenty of flavor in your rub. You wanna have flavor that will uh, that will season the meat. So we're gonna be using hickory smoke. You can use any kind of uh, smoke that you like, but we're gonna use hickory smoke today. All right, I've got one, one dirty hand, one clean hand. Let's get the, uh, the ribs coated. Be very liberal. On this. Now you could only if you want to you could just do salt and pepper. I'm not gonna this is these are straight out of the package. I'm not even going to uh, I'm not going to take any fat off of these. Um, they've been trimmed really well. Okay. So I've got a pork shoulder, I've got pork ribs, and I've got a chicken. On the uh, pork shoulder and the chicken, I'm just gonna do salt. So we're gonna come back once we get this smoked properly and uh, we're gonna season again, but I just wanna put some salt on it. I like to put a nice crust. All right, and that's it. Now, you could put uh, any kind of seasonings that you like on your uh, on your chicken or even on the pork, but typically uh, you just want to do salt on the pork and then maybe put some vinegar in later, we'll, we'll work on that. Chicken, you could put some rosemary, some garlic, you could do that as well. Uh, I like traditional smoke just to get that smoke flavor, so that's how we're gonna do it today. So what we've got here is a hotel pan with chips that I've soaked in water overnight uh, with some aluminum foil on the bottom. So you turn it on high to get the smoke started. And then you turn it down to kind of a low, low medium. Um, 
only uh, difference in this is you, it's hard to control the temperature, so you just have to uh, eyeball it once you get it going. All right, we've got smoke going. We've got our meats in. As you can see, got the fat side up on the, uh, on the pork shoulder. We've got our ribs in. Now what we do is we put our lids back on and then turn down our heat. Now we've got a circulation of smoke inside the pan. 250 degrees for smoke is what we're shooting for, but obviously it's gonna be hard to regulate that. Um, so we're just gonna turn it down on low. If the smoke uh, stops, then we need to turn it back up and, and get the smoke going again. But uh, so we're gonna go about two hours on the ribs and the um, uh, chicken, <clears throat> probably about four hours and six hours, hopefully on the, uh, on the pork shoulder. So once we get the smoke where we like, we are going to leave it alone um, and we're not going to disturb it. So what you're doing is you're putting chips over the two eyes. Uh, you don't have chips in the center, you just want chips over the two eyes. Those uh, uh, chips, those soaked chips will, will smoke for quite a while. Uh, you could always have some extra backup chips just in case. Um, in case you need to put some more in or you can put a little more, a few more in dry. So we'll come back in a couple of hours and see how our ribs are doing. Ooh, yummy. So this has been about an hour and a half and I just wanna check the temperature. We are not in Celsius. Uh, we're looking for about 200 degrees right now. It's about 190. And 75. So we're gonna let it go that extra uh, 30 minutes. So I'm kind of, uh, I wanna show you this. From the raw state to now, you can see that it's starting to, uh, to cook smoke so we're looking good there it smells really good put that back down real fast I don't want to run out of smoke uh, we still have four hours three or four hours left on that so you want some ribs so we are got an andouille sausage here I'm just grilling Grilling the andouille sausage. Okay, it's time to play with the chicken. Um, but really all you're doing here is just pulling the meat into manageable kind of bite-sized pieces, taking the bone out. Make sure you get all the bone and the cartilage ligaments out. sugar yeah and salt and pepper that's it oh man they were so good yeah. the smoke flavor tasters what did i do with it oh here it is i gotta get you on camera though okay some of my kids probably know who you are yeah <laughs> am i on camera oh yeah we're on camera ribs are not going to show there you go there's a smoke ring you can kind of see it and then this is an andouille sausage that I've had on the grill. So what you're looking for in a uh, smoked rib, I probably could have let this go just a little longer, uh, but you want meat that pulls. It's got a little pull on it. Uh, it doesn't just fall right off because you're gonna have a little bit of um, bite back. Mm. 
yummy. Lightly sweet, a little bit of salt. Really have that flavor of, uh, of uh, pork. Beautiful. I'm gonna let this cool off a little bit. We season this on the outside, right? Um, and we're gonna take this, we're gonna tear this apart. I'm gonna let it cool a minute while I talk about it. Um, we're going to do the same thing we did with the uh, chicken with this. We're gonna pull it and mix it up. Woo! This right here would be considered a burnt end. That's very hot. I might have to try to do it with this. But let me go ahead and I like to, to mix the skin in. If you've got a tough piece of skin, you might want to pull it out separate. Okay. Okay, a little salt, a little apple cider vinegar. This will kind of add some apple flavor to it, like we use apple wood been smoking since about nine o'clock this morning, so about six hours. So get it nice and mixed up. All right, and make sure you taste it. Takes you six hours on your stove or outside. But that's okay. Um, something that is super good is really worth the time. And when you know how to do this, you're worth a whole lot more in a restaurant because you could you could show them how to do this. All right. Mmm. Just needs a little more salt, and I think it's good. Fantastic. Six hours. I'm gonna give this some of this to um, Principal Jolly. Make a little, a little plate for her. That's another good reason to do this. You, you can make friends. You know, cooking is about making friends. It really is. Hospitality. And that's what we, that's why we do this. Not just to eat, but we're trying to make some friends. All right, coach, you get to try my, uh, the smoked chicken. This is the pulled chicken. If you like it, you can take some home tonight. Okay, okay. it smells really good. Oh, you need a fork. fork. Oh, just use your hands. Okay. <laughs> it's barbecue. Mmm. Delicious. You like it? Yes, the smoke flavor is everything. You like the uh, the vinegar and the salt that I put in it? Is Seasoned that what you it? put in there? Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah, it needs some barbecue. <laughs> yeah, it needs some barbecue sauce, yeah. Uh, smoked chicken is a little dry. That's why uh, you need some barbecue sauce on it. And that's why most people get smoked pork because the fat, you know, incorporates in the in the meat when you pull it like that. But mm -hmm. smoked chicken is really good. Mm -hmm. And it's lean. It is. It's good. Well, good. Glad you like it. Yeah. Okay. We, uh, I, need a I wish you could be sauce. here to try it. Hurry up and get here in January. Get here fast. <laughs> Well, when you come back in January, if you're not in my class, show up and I'll give you some food. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. that was your